When I draw a complex shape like that, I'm always wondering where to put my anchor point in Illustrator. So here what I'm going to show you guys is how to use the ruler and the guides to uh, locate the exact position to where to put your anchor point. So um, in order to uh, to have the ruler here, you just go uh, Command R, Command R like that, and uh, the ruler up here. And then you draw a guide just by holding on the ruler and by dragging down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate the curve that you wanna trace and you're gonna put the, um, the, the guides just where it ends at the furthest position, okay? So you're gonna go like that here, like that here, and like that there. So whatever the curve go far, you hit and you uh, uh, you position a, uh, a guide. Uh, what also is convenient is to just lock your images when you're tracing it. So this is um, a command two, just by hitting that, my heart is now locked so I cannot uh, uh, drag over it and move it. So first I'm gonna hit the um, the Bezier curve, so the pen tool, uh, P is the shortcut for that, and I'm going to drag my first point. I'm going to go just right here where uh, my guides meet the longest and the farthest point on my curve. I'm going to click and I'm, I'm going to drag up because my curve goes up to my, uh, uh, go up to my right, and I'm going to hit the shift. Why I'm going to hit the shift? Because I have a perfectly geometric uh, curve in front of me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drag the um, the handle just like a little bit further uh, than my curve here because there's a second point to put uh, um, on my right. So I'm holding shift, I'm holding my mouse, then I'm releasing my mouse and I'm releasing shift. See my curve, it's perfectly uh, uh, it's perfectly aligned to my shape here. Where I'm gonna put my second point. So you gotta figure out like half a circle. This work most of the time. So I got half a circle here, so I'm gonna locate my second point just here to make a perfect shape. Here I'm gonna click, I'm gonna hold, and I'm gonna drag, and see how it aligns perfectly with the shape here. Um, when I'm done, okay, I'm gonna um, um, put the Alt key, Option key, in order to break the handle because actually there's a corner. It's not this is not a curve. This is a corner. So I'm gonna hit the Alt curve and I'm gonna drag drag up like that. Okay, here's my first curve. And then my second curve exactly uh, at the opposite direction of this first curve because it's a geometric shape. But then I'm holding shift and I'm dragging down like that. Okay. So we can see that right now I'm, I'm perfectly aligned with my circle. Here I have a corner. This is not a curve. This is a corner. So I don't need to click and drag. I just click and that's it. There's a, there's a very nice corner. And in order to close my shape, I come back to the, the, the point where I began. I click and I hold up, okay? And I still hold shift in order to maintain my perfectly uh, nice curve. Here it is.